and welcome to another edition of Digging Deeper with Brian Hale. Brought to you by Hale Multimedia, website and mobile app development for over 25 years. That's HaleMultimedia.com. Now listen in and join me online at DiggingDeeper.us. Please sign our Change.org petition at change.org slash search Terry Lake. This is Brian Hale, and many of you know that I run the Scotts Bluff County Scanner, and we have since its inception, with a Facebook page starting in 2009, shortly after we put up the live stream for the first time online for the world to access it, through Broadcastify, which makes these services possible. Broadcastify is the only one that makes these services possible, and we have direct licensure with them and permission to use their stream and broadcast to you in its entirety. Along with the management of the Scotts Bluff County Scanner comes with uh, a lot of responsibility to keep up with what's going on in the county. And one of the things that has been on the minds of many people for more than two years now is the disappearance of Chance Engelbert. I recently started a petition to search Terry Lake. This wasn't completely in response to chances missing. There are reports, and some people on one side are saying that the lake was thoroughly searched with uh, sonar and dive teams and whatnot. However, we do have information that contradicts that. So I decided we should call for a search of Terry Lake for dead bodies. When I was growing up in the 70s, I witnessed a guy being stuffed in the trunk of a car. I think I was only about seven or eight years old, maybe six, depending on the year. I do remember that USC and UCLA were playing in an important game. So I believe the year was 1972. The next morning, I asked my mom about it. The lights were all off, and I was looking out the bedroom window. And I really didn't think too much of it, but I did ask her about it the next day. She said we should listen to the news, and on the news was a report that another dead body has been found in Terry Lake. Well, I'm calling on everyone to do a search on that history. Check my memory. Prove to me that there have not been dead bodies found in Terry Lake in Terrytown, Nebraska. I believe there have been, unless it was fake news in 1972. And I suppose that's entirely possible. It was real, and I witnessed it. Now, in reference to the Chance Engelbert missing case, a source of ours has confirmed that the dive team was called off, that one of the dive teams were called off, when they thought they had found something during the search for Chance. Another private investigator online has said that they have a Google image via satellite of a barrel in Terry Lake. Well, the odds are there are several barrels in the bottom of Terry Lake. Now, whether or not they contain dead bodies, I think the odds are a little bit riskier there, but not completely out of the question, especially since there have been questions about how to weigh down a body in a lake. But the police are aware of these tips. They told us so themselves. So what are we missing here? We don't know. But wouldn't it answer a lot of questions if we searched Terry Lake for evidence? There could be weapons, and there could be bodies. Please sign our change.org petition at change.org slash search Terry Lake. And please share this with your friends and not only possibly bring closure to Chance's family, but to others whose mysteries are still unsolved here in Scotts Bluff County. And that does it for another edition of Digging Deeper. Visit our website to catch this podcast and many others anytime. You can also watch our live TV network, browse our on-demand content, read our controversial articles, or sign up if you feel led to join the cause for defending our Constitution. It's all on diggingdeeper.us. We appreciate you listening, and remember, visit diggingdeeper.us to learn more about what we're doing to bring truth to light.